previously we have been through the resource material and highlighted all those um, items that will help us calculate our cash payments for our, the cash payment section in our cash flow statement. So the first thing we will have to calculate is cash to suppliers. And again, we have to be quite methodical in how we do that calculation. So let's go through. We assume therefore our cash paid to suppliers will be everything for this period everything that we owed at the end of last period would have been paid in this period so that's that $35,000 so accounts payable 2016 and that figure was yeah the $35,000 I'm also going to assume in this calculation that the next thing that I will have paid out is everything that I had been required or asked for by my suppliers in this case six hundred and sixty thousand dollars so invoices received six hundred and sixty thousand dollars so in that case therefore before anything else I'll be expecting in uh, to have paid sorry six hundred and ninety five thousand dollars now I'm going to just cross out this information as I've used it just to make sure that I have got the full information in my answers. But before I can use that figure there are some other um, ways I have to change that and alter that to get the correct payments figure. Although I would have paid that amount and everything that was required of me, remember I was also I had received or been let off of paying $18,000 so I would take that off of that figure discount received $18,000 and that comes off of that because they would have let me off paying that I also have just got to go through here and remember I also received just cross that off also received $5,000 uh, $5, worth of credit notes that would have been a reduction in the amount that I had to pay so credit note amount credit notes received comes off of that figure and then finally um, remember that although I've got in here that I think I said I think I would have paid that amount of invoices that I had received in remember I still had 22,000 outstanding so hadn't actually been paid by the end of the period so take that closing 22,000 from there so that's closing accounts payable that being the case therefore my new cash pay to suppliers comes to six hundred and fifty thousand once I've done that calculation the first thing I would do then if I were you is to actually make sure you've there put that calculated figure in under your major one of your major cash payments so cash to suppliers like that and I would put that in as six five zero one two three and just do a quick check back here therefore that you have marked off all those pieces of information because you now don't have to use those anymore the only remains for me then to put in the other cash payments that I have um, worked out from the question so remember I had drawings and remember we said that the cash portion of that drawings payment would be 82,000 less 1,500 so that would be 80,500 and just so I can make sure yes and now I've used those pieces of information and now it's just a matter of filling in all those others down the bottom so drawings equipment Um, was fifteen thousand dollars take that off there um, I would have had bank fees 
1,100. Um, I've got um, insurance payment of 4,500. I've got loan and interest. You must put both of those in because it's loan and interest. So that's got to be recorded. 30,000. I've already marked those two in. 30,000. Um, other business expenses. Two five zero one two three, and wages. Three eight zero one two three knots there. So if I add all those up there, I've got my total cash payments comes to one million four hundred and eleven thousand and a hundred dollars, and that is your cash payments of the cash flow statement done. Just a final check before you actually do question in there that you have now ticked off all the information as you've used it. Yes, there's no outstanding information there that hasn't been used, so I know that I've got full disclosure of payments in my answer.